What you want to do is you want to focus on squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, rows, pull-ups. Hey, it's Cameron with the Atlas Training Shop. We are back with another video, and today we're going to talk about optimal training. But before we get to that, what I want you to do is I want you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out quite a bit. So what does optimal training mean? Well, about 10 years ago, there was this, uh, there was this buzzword that went around the fitness community called functional training. Well, functional training was, it was kind of co-opted by CrossFit community first, and then some random dudes on the internet found it and changed what it meant quite a bit. And the idea was uh, behind functional training was moving in ways that we move in nature. It was used so much that it kind of lost all meaning. And we're starting to see the same thing happen with the word optimal when it comes to training. If you spend any time on TikTok, especially in the gym talk sphere, which if you found me, you probably found me through TikTok if you are on this channel right now. But I digress. The same thing is happening with the word optimal, where it's starting to mean things that it really shouldn't mean. So when we think about optimal training, we have to ask ourselves the question, optimal for what? Where it seems to be used the most is optimal for building very specific muscle fibers. So building the lat in a certain way, building the rhomboids in a certain way, building torque on the upper back, the rear delts in a certain way. The problem is, the body is only one piece. Everything is meant to work together as one. Well, yes, if you are competing in bodybuilding, you may have lagging body parts that you need to build up. But for most people, especially the audience that is on TikTok, that's not really what you should be focusing on. You should be focusing on building the entire structure as one piece. Otherwise, you're gonna wind up like some of the people who walk through our doors with a shit ton of muscular imbalances and they can't squat below parallel without their hips giving out because they're one side of the legs too strong compared to the other side or one side of the hip joints too strong compared to the other side, as I should say. But anyway, what you wanna do is you wanna focus on squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, rows, pull-ups. That should make up the vast majority of your volume when you were just starting out. You build that base, then once that base is built and you're strong, then you can start to specialize a little. If bodybuilding is your thing, then you can start focusing on what is optimal for hypertrophy in certain body parts. Or if you want to specialize in powerlifting, you can whittle those movements down to variations, squat, bench, and the deadlift. So you can get really strong at those three. Strongman, you can start working in implements. Highland games, you can start throwing. Weightlifting, you can boil everything down to a squat, clean and jerk, and a snatch. But if you're not doing that GPP, the general physical preparedness, of doing squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, row, um, pull-ups, maybe some forms of heavy carries, and treating the body like one unit that works together, you are not going to build a stable base for long-term progress in those movements that you eventually want to specialize in. So that's it for the video. Um, I did something similar to this on TikTok, but I really didn't think that TikTok was a good enough platform to go in as in-depth as I wanted to with this. Really, I'm only scratching the surface with this video. So if you want to uh, learn more, please ask me some questions in the comments so that I know what to really go in depth on with it. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. If you screenshot this, share us to your Instagram story, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you a promo code to go for 10% off any of the apparel that is on the website. If you're in the Baton Rouge area, we'd love to meet you. Shoot me a message on Instagram. We can make that happen. If you're not in the Baton Rouge area and you still like to support us, the best way to do that is to head to the website, check out our programming options, and check out our apparel line. I designed it all myself. This one is Teddy Roosevelt, holding back uh, two meese, that's the plural form of moose for those who don't know English, for, uh, in a Hercules hold, so strong as bull moose. Did the world need a t-shirt with a Jack Teddy Roosevelt on it? No, but I provided it in any way because uh, chaos reigns. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, keep that tightened.